G'day all, how are yous? Um, welcome to the channel again. Uh, we've finally got this ZOHD uh, Talon GT. It's got it out ready for a maiden. After all the rubbish I've been through with this, um, my cat knocked it off the shelf and it's broke and it did break a uh, the rear aileron, one of the one of the uh, control horns. And um, I also lost the connecting rod to it as well. So it's had to have a few repairs. I've had to order a whole new kit in for it just to get those pieces. So I advise if anyone wants to build one of these, or probably any of them, even the Dart XL, get yourself two kits. So we're going to throw it up in the air today. I've got a beautiful day here at the field. Slight shower activity out there, but it shouldn't be uh, a problem here. So this, this craft here, if um, anyone hasn't watched any previous videos, it's running a Maytech F405 WTE board. Going to be running a, a 10,000 milliamp battery I'm going to have in it. It's probably a little on the heavy side for it, but I mean, it, it works well with the Dart XL, so there's no reason it shouldn't work with this either. Um, it's running Express LRS, all my planes run Express LRS. And it's going to be uh, wearing a 10 by 5.5 inch prop I believe I can't exactly remember it's a 10 inch prop anyway um, over the 9 inch that um, came, that they recommended with it it's uh, got a got a 50 amp 40 amp or a 50 amp ESC I can't remember that's sort of borderline for me I want to test the heat on that out whether that's going to be overheating and if need be I'll um, upgrade that uh, other than that it's running Maytech 1.2 gigahertz video transmission as well and nothing much else at this stage. It's going to have a, an airspeed sensor on it, an analog airspeed sensor I'll put in there as well um, to probably do a few waypoint missions as well with this and some long range stuff once it's set up properly. So up till now, let's get it up in the air before we see any shower activity coming across in those hills over there because it's uh, I've been fighting it quite often here. Every time I get a nice day, I seem to come out here and then the showers turn up. So anyone who's new into flying, one of the most important things you need to do every flight is check your center of gravity. Easily missed, but it's so crucial because if you've got a tail heavy plane, you're gonna have a handful during the flight trying to keep this thing from not coming down in more than one piece. <laughs> so center of gravity, guys, is first priority for anyone new that's into flying and it's it's it's, it's basically, for those that have flown, it should, it should be one of your main main number one priorities before you take flight is to um, to check that. And the way to do that, all planes usually have markings underneath. So in this case, I've got a mark here on this wing here and the same on the other side there. So what I need to do is balance my fingers on those marks and see what the plane does. In this case, it's a tiny bit tail heavy. So what I need to do is just move my battery for just a slight bit. You're better off having a, a nose heavy plane than a tail heavy plane. Somewhere there is pretty good. So another thing you can almost always do if you're happy, once you're happy with the center of gravity, grab a pen and just mark where your battery is. That way you'll know for better reference next time you fly roughly where you should be setting it up. Um. Hey. Well, it was a tight, tight bank to the right there, and was, but it's in the air, the talon. Has got a real good banking angle. The um, banking angle needs to be changed. Hasn't got a very, very good radius. Auto level. Do an auto, auto level. So yeah, it's very. I never change the uh, max inclination uh, to give it a bit more, a bit more angle in alt in angle mode. It's probably still set to 30 degrees by the feel of that. 
some bad in interference with the VTX as well. The Matec 1.2 is for some reason isn't at straight off. It doesn't seem to be performing as good as the um, the other one that I've got on my other planes. Yeah, it definitely needs to be uh, a lot more angle so we can turn a bit sharper. Acro. Okay, acro mode now. Might do a Good bit of a, an auto tune here. See what we can get. Yeah, some bad interference, and I'm not even that far away with the VTX. Not sure what's going on there. So auto tune in iNav needs to be done in acro mode and uh, basically fly the plane shaking it left and right and then pitching it up and down um, as many times as you can. It's not ideal, I've got some wind gusts now coming up. So notice the pitch has gone up to two, uh, 213. But the roll hasn't changed too much. Craft's having a bit of a tendency to nose down a bit. So inter interference is very bad. I'm only about 500 metres away. Angle mode feels pretty good after a little tune there. It's feeling a bit bit more stable. Sorry, acro mode, not angle. Angle's gonna need it, it angle will need to be adjusted when I get back um, in front of iNav again. So the pitch is now up to 221. It's gone up considerably, whereas the roll hasn't gone up much at all. I'm not too sure why that is. Level. But flying it in acro now it does feel pretty good. think what we'll do, we'll bank it around and I'll get a bit of height and then uh, we'll test, we'll test uh, auto, uh, we'll test loiter out Loiter. and that's it there, position hold it activated my radius is set to 60 meters So around 9 amps seems to be fairly average. Angle. I'll try a return to home. Return to 
Okay, so it's done its bank on its own with the return to home, and it's coming back now at its cruise altitude and should hover around above me, but I'll take over by the time it gets back to there. Loiter. Acro. Alright, I'm just going to bring it around one more time and then uh, we'll come in for a landing and then I'll give you my thoughts on the uh, flight. Lovely. Seemed to go all right, everything seemed to function fine. Return to home, loiter. The only thing I want a bit more uh, turn in the angle on angle mode. It's not a, not a very big circle there. Um, the wind did start to get up too during that flight, so it wasn't ideal for auto tuning it, but it did, did seem to feel pretty good in acro mode. Didn't go over half throttle during that flight at all. I wasn't really prepared to. My um, video feed kept cutting in occasionally. It wasn't the greatest for some reason, so that's something I'm going to work on. So what we'll do, we'll head back uh, home. I'll jump on the computer and go into iNav, and we'll make a few little adjustments to this um, Talon GT. Um, definitely needs a lot more banking angle in angle mode. Angle mode, uh, acro mode seemed good. I don't think too much adjustments there. Um, we'll check the PIDs as well when I get back. Just we'll see what what changed with that as well. All right, guys. See you back at home. All right. So back here at home, we're just going to hook up to iNav. All right. So. Um, we'll just connect up now okay so what I've, what I did I went into the mixer after that first flight and I, I know it's a VTAIL and it has the capability to do your I don't see the point in having too much your and this was set here if you look at the uh, servo 3 and 4 stabilized pitch and your uh, that was set to 50% on each one here but what I did do was I gave it more pitch so I've got 75% pitch uh, now on both servo 3 and 4 and only 25 minus 25 percent in weight so what we'll do um, and that, that 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 seemed to take off a lot better um, it was good in acro mode, angle mode it wasn't so good. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to um, go into the CLI and set our, our mat, a max angle inclination for roll and possibly a bit for pitch. Um, well, that didn't seem too bad, but definitely the roll. We'll see what that is. So let's go into the CLI and what we'll do is get... Max underscore angle. Okay, maxi max max angle inclination roll is only at only at three hundred, so we want to change that. And the pitch is also only at three hundred, so I might even bump those both of those up. So we'll go set, and what we'll do is just copy this, and we'll change three hundred. 
Might change it to 500, keep it the same as the Zod Dart, I think. We'll see how that goes. Hit enter, so that's changed, and our pitch, we'll do the same. We'll just bump it up a little bit for the pitch. Make it 450, I think, and it'll do. And we'll save that. Alright, so that's changed, so it should, be, it should be a lot better now in angle mode. Um, should have a lot more pit, uh, a lot more roll to it now. I'll go into the advanced tuning and I'll just show you other little adjustments I made to the auto launch. So what I changed, um, my idle throttle, I've, I've made that 1300. Didn't want to go too low and the launch throttle I've got at 1800. Uh, motor delay, I've changed. I put that down to 150. Um, that's just the delay between the delay, the delay detected between launch and the launch sequence to start up and throttling up. So basically, as soon as I throw it, uh, the motors will almost take off. So having that too low can um, cause risks if you haven't got your hand out of the way. Can um, cut you if you're not careful. Uh, spin up time, I've also reduced down to 300. And that's basically it, I believe, with the launch. So that's, that's how I had it set up on that last video there, which, which it took off with. And it seemed to be okay. I might make some minor adjustments with it, but I'm pretty happy with that one um, as it is. Okay, so we'll have a look at the PID tuning to see what has been altered here. I did notice it was a feet forward was way up. I did notice that, so can indicate some little issue there why that's so high but anyway we'll leave it at that I do plan to do another uh, auto tune on this don't think it went for long enough either and uh, the wind was starting to pick up too which wasn't ideal so yeah, the feed forwards been altered on the roll and on the pitch up and down she didn't do much with the oar but anyway Max roll angle now I've changed to 50 degrees and max pitch to 45 degrees. Everything worked good, it, it, it did its return to home quite well, it seemed good with its loiter. It was quite nice. Only the real thing I didn't like was the fact that it was on angle mode, it was only 30 degree roll so that was affecting it. Alright, so final, final thing to do after we've saved all our new settings is we'll go into the CLI and create a new diff all file. And yeah, we can see a few little changes there. The feed forward is at 220 and the roll. So the roll didn't change much. There was the, the pitch that changed a lot. So I'm not sure why that is, but anyone knows or has, has any ideas, just hit me up and let me know, please. Max angle roll to 50 degrees and max angle pitch to uh, 45. That's pretty much it. So we'll save that to file and we'll save it there. So I had to rebalance the plane because it was rolling to the one side Heavier on this side here with the VTX sitting out here. It's a little bit of weight in that VTX, so what I've had to do over here is add some weight. So I've added some hot hot glued some weight in there. There's a 10 and a 5 gram just to even it all out so it's a lot better. It's a lot more balanced basically. When I threw it, it um it, it banked that way in the video if you saw it and went down because this wing was quite considerably heavier than the other side so it's evened out now um, fingers crossed it'll be it'll be better next time we get out there okay that's about it so that's it guys new setup so we'll take this out again a bit later and um, give it another run um, maybe when it's a bit less windy than it is now we'll um, do another auto tune and just see if we can get some more out of the roll um, but other than that, it seems pretty good. And once I'm all set up, I'll put the airspeed sensor on it and we might even try some waypoint missions with this plane as well. Um, this I'm not real happy with the video feed either at the moment, so that's another thing I've got to work out. 
I'm not sure what happened there. That's worse. It could be because of my receiver. I'm using a part-time receiver. I am thinking of getting the, the Maytech. So anyone has the, if anyone has this as a video transmitter, uh, let me know your thoughts. It's the Maytech 1.2 gigahertz, sorry. Okay, guys, have a good one and successful maiden, I guess. <laughs> kind of. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. Keep flying. Bye for now. See yous.